Hello, my name is John Edmondson and this is a presentation of what's new in AlphaCam 2013 R1. This latest release has consistent new branding across all this material. One of the important things obviously is the expiry date. The expiry date for 2013 R1 is September 2012. On loading the product you'll see a much simplified interface. The loaded product is driven by the license so the end user isn't given lots and lots of options. He only gets the product that he's bought. A desktop shortcut will be automatically created for them. And multiple product users including the resellers can simply create their own shortcuts. This is simple to do. Simply select Alpha Cam, right click on the one you wish to create a shortcut. A shortcut is created on your desktop, and this then opens Alpha Cam. The new Alpha Cam features covered in this presentation include toolpath oscillation spot drill and chamfering, combined pocketing, part tagging, paneling, BTL import, nesting zones, multiple materials and reports. There are individual in-depth movies that you can access from the folder 2013 R1 movies. The first new feature we'll look at is toolpath oscillation. So why oscillate the tool? Well it helps utilise more of the tool's effective cutting length on hard materials, for example hard metals, on stone and maybe on solid surface composites. It will also help reduce localised tool wear on laminates and composite panels such as plywood. This will in turn improve the edge finish and we will get an extended tool life. What is toolpath oscillation? It's the vertical movement of the tool whilst cutting. If we look at this simulation, we'll see that while the tool is traversing along the cut, it is also moving up and down in Z. Oscillation can be applied to 2D rough and finished toolpaths. The oscillation can also be applied to 3D splines, polyline toolpaths. Next on this list is spot drill and chamfering. Spot drill and chamfering tools can either be defined as a drill with a cone angle and or a flat end tool with a taper angle. The spot drilling is pre-drilling a tapered hole to assist with centre drilling and chamfering generally is removing the, start, the sharp edge on a drilled hole. Under drilling there is a new command, a common command of chamfering. Now if we make the chamfer depth positive that is a spot drill, if it's negative it's a chamfer. What's this simulation? You'll see from a single command that the spot drill is varying its depth dependent on the diameter being spot drilled. There's a couple of options now how you wish to output the code if it's for a 4 or 5 axis machine. We've always had the global linear for 5 axis with tool vectors. There's now local linear. This produces 3 plus 2 type NC code provided better support for indexing machines that utilise plane rotation functionality. The combined pocketing of command allows a finished pass to be added to a pocketing routine. This is something that has been requested for many years so it should make a lot of people very happy. We'll start by applying a 
pocketing toolpath and auto Z using this new command additional rough finish pass I'm using a 12 millimeter tool here with 0.1 of a millimeter of stock I'm putting cutter compensation on and apply the automatic lead in lead out if we look at this operation then we can see now that this is our finished toolpath I can come into this combined pocket and edit either the pocketing or the rough and finish I want to come back in with a smaller tool so we'll just update that to a 6mm now see that we've got a different colour on that coming back into that operation I can then also if I wish add some geometries to that so we'll add that one and when we view this in simulation what we'll see now is it's got automatic tool sorting applied to those pockets as well it's very simple to use and apply This new combined pocketing command also supports the Z-Contour Roughing Waveform strategy. We'll now look at automatic support tags. These are generally applied to small or thin parts. Automatic support tags are easy to apply and edit to any contour path, including 5-axis. This allows the part to remain attached, overcoming part movement and thus reducing material wastage and extra rework. Very simple toolpath that just goes around this Christmas decoration. And onto that I want to add some tagging. Again, this is accessed from the operations page, automatic support tags. I want three of them and I want the tag top to be minus one and let's do a length of five. That's now applied those tags we can see however if we simulate that I've got one there that's in this neck that won't be an easy place to remove at a later date so let's see if we can change that so we're going to into edit again automatic support tags that is a radius of 6 so let's put a minimum radius in of 7 and that now has moved my tag it's also possible to add tags to 5 axis splines or polyline toolpaths quickly simulate that Next on the list is panelling. Panelling is a powerful, easy to apply command, facilitating the manufacture of larger parts than a machine working envelope and or standard sheet sizes. This is a large Christmas tree, approximately 4.2 metres high by 2.2 metres wide, which is bigger than any panel that I can make it from as a single panel and also larger than my machine. So I'm going to panel this. We'll say all geometries. The panel width that I'm going to use is 2440 by 1220. We'll put that down, the datum maybe minus 1200 and minus 200. look over on the right hand side it's now sectionalized these into individual sheets ready for machining also if we look we'll see that each one of these geometries has now been closed to make it easier to machine BTL import the first question is what is BTL well, BTL is an interface 
for the data transfer from design software from CAD systems to CNC machines for timber frame roofs, log homes and wooden frame house construction. At the bottom there you'll see some timber trusses but this data uh, interface also includes wooden panels, walls, anything about timber framed buildings. It's a description format that describes the geometry of wooden building components and their processing parameters. And by processing parameters we're talking about generally joints, whether they're sewn, whether they're mortars and tenon, whether they're drilled holes. The BTL import is an add-in, so we need to switch that on under add-ins. There are a couple of options. The first one is create Alphacam drawings. This imports a BTL format file. I've got a complex roof. So this brings in these components and explodes, well, the assembly and explodes them to components and then saves them away individually as Alphacam drawings. I'm going to import one of the drawings. You see that each one of these has been saved away, exploded, then saved. We'll look down here. It's extracted that sword edge. We come under layers. It's automatically put that on a layer called BTL Process 10. We happen to know that that is for sewing. So we have a machining style, which is assigned to that layer, that I process, BTL Process 10, and applies. We can also reassemble this roof. So this is taking all those Alphacam individual parts that we exploded back into the correct orientation and reassembling the roof for us. And we can then compare that against the original. Nesting zones. Nesting zones are easy to configure and use, reducing part wastage and increasing machine output. First stage is to define the sheets and zones. So this is the sheet and this is the zone. Individual parts you identify as a small part which have done that for the round and also the teardrop. Then we nest And then finds the small parts within that predefined area. Multiple materials. Multiple materials allows for the option to select the current active material. As you know, you can have more than one, including material on a work plane. So, show you multiple materials. We have the Z contour roughing toolpath assigned to this material. Now I wish to apply the same machining strategy to this right hand face. So we select that work plane. I have that saved away as a machining style. We'll apply that to selected geometries. Now see that doesn't actually give me what I'm looking for. Now the reason for that is if I come into the operation I can then say okay let's reselect the material because it was still working off the old one and then update and now we'll see the correct toolpath. So it's quite easy once you've got an operation on to say select reselect the material. Now that option is actually switched on using this select materials here when defining the initial toolpath. 
The last feature on the list is reports. Reports are a powerful report writing tool. Custom reports can be produced in the report designer. However, the report designer is only available to customers on maintenance. The report designer tab is no longer available to anybody who isn't on a supported system. I wish to run a report on this panel here. Quite a few operations on there. So we come down to reports, create report, and just a simple tooling list that I want to run. This now has created me a tooling list. The important thing from a reseller's perspective, this tab here, report designer. This is available for anybody who is under maintenance. Once a customer drops out of maintenance, the report designer is no longer available to them. They can use reports that they've already created, but they cannot create any new ones. A few things we need to bring you up to date with with respect to the part modeler. 2013 R1. There's a new command whereby you can specify a window and remove a face so that little recess there in the left has been removed from the model in the right. You can now also load a visi file into the part modeler. There are some new system licenses as well as the AlphaCam machinist has now been removed and replaced by individual milling, turning and wire modules. And there's the product codes on the right hand side. This concludes this presentation of what's new for AlphaCam 2013 R1. If you do have any questions, could you please direct those via the portal? Thank you for your time. Towards the end of this year, early next, there will be the launch of AlphaCam Express. This is a single web-based product. It will have a unique license based on AlphaCam or Router Essential. This license will be timed for 365 days from the day of purchase. It will include a one post with no additional modules and the upgrade path is to the standard priceless products.